everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review the SpongeBob episode, The Executive Treatment. So, the executive treatment is about when Patrick wants to order this very special sandwich known as the executive treatment. But of course, as Squidward explained in the episode, it's just the Krabby Patty, but more expensive, just so the executives can buy it. So, I'm going to be honest when I say, I actually thought this was awesome. Now, this is definitely... Definitely the definition of a Patrick centered episode because this episode just centers around Patrick. SpongeBob is barely in this episode, he only pops up for I'm not kidding you two seconds just for two seconds. Um, towards the beginning of this episode, and then he shows up at the end because. You know, at the end, he had to bail Patrick out of prison. I gotta say, this is one of the best episodes to feature Patrick in quite some time. It's very well written. I really like the overall concept. I like when Patrick tried to pitch ideas to that crocodile, the main executive. The one who pretty much fires a lot of people because apparently in this executive room, it's the room where a lot of people do get fired. And it's apparently the most dangerous executive room because that's where everyone pitches their ideas. So I do feel like the writing was handled very well. I felt like it was very well executed and like I said I just love Patrick here. Definitely one of the best roles Patrick was ever given in this show. I'm glad that this episode focused on Patrick. Um, you know, normally when you have a Patrick-centric episode, you have Spongebob tagging along. It's just nice to have an episode that focuses strictly on Patrick. And it works, in my opinion at least, how the episode handled Patrick being the executive. It honestly did work. The only thing about this episode I really did not like was the ending. The ending just came out of nowhere for me, and it just kind of made me go, um, what? It was just weird. It wasn't executed well. Pacing was pretty rushed, and it just had a very abrupt ending. So the ending to this episode, I personally did not think was strong. Besides the ending, however, everything else about this episode was just awesome. So I'm going to give the executive treatment an 8.5 out of 10. So now I'm here to review Squid Plus One. So Squid Plus One is about when Squidward receives an invitation to go to the opening of a gallery and this invitation lets him bring, you guessed it, a plus one, you know, a guest to take to that gallery opening. However, Squidward does not want to take Spongebob because, you know, he has his reasons with Spongebob. So he's trying to find a friend to take to the opening gallery. Honestly, I found this episode to be very disappointing. Not at all a bad episode. It's not bad. It's far from that. It's actually a decent, at best, episode. But my positives by far with the episode is that, you know, there are moments where I did laugh. I would say pretty much consistently throughout here and there I did get good laughs out of the episode. Simple humor but very well done. The mailman, a larger role than you would see in other Spongebob episodes to my surprise. Um, he was really enjoyable. I did really like the mailman. I also did like seeing Larry the Lobster because it's been a while since we've seen Larry the Lobster so it was cool to see him but it was also cool to see Squidward actually hang out with Larry the Lobster, even though really that's in the last couple of minutes of the episode. And then you know Spongebob, he's still enjoyable, a little bit weird in the beginning of the episode, but he was still really enjoyable. My negatives with Squid Plus One, however, is just that the episode, it does get uneven. Squidward, I also felt like he was a jerk. Not like the biggest jerk. I mean, we've all seen Squidward 
go to his lowest point and this episode he's not close to being the jerk of the jerk but I didn't like how he treated the mailman I didn't really like how he kept dissing Spongebob even though I can kind of understand since Spongebob was being a little bit weird and creepy in the beginning but still I did feel bad whenever he would turn down Spongebob and then Squidward I face palmed so hard when Larry the Lobster Despite the fact that he wasn't interested in galleries, he was willing to go with Squidward. And then, you know how Squidward fucked up? He just had to blab his mouth about Larry the Lobster taking protein shakes and how stupid it is. And then, of course, Larry the Lobster, he was pissed off. So Larry the Lobster is all like, nope, screw you. I'm not going with you. Yes, Squidward, good job. Larry the Lobster was about to be your plus one, and you just had to open your big fat mouth. I was just all like, oh, come on, Squidward. How do you screw something like that? How do you screw that up? Like, just how? And I also didn't think the ending was that great either. You kind of expected when Squidward told SpongeBob to go with him that there was going to be some kind of turnaround to it. It was still kind of, the ending was still kind of funny, but you know, it was still a letdown. That's what this episode is. It's not horrible. It's far from that. It's just a letdown. Oh, one more thing before I forget. I did like how this episode played the song from that episode, Enchanted Tiki Dreams. I hated that episode. But anyways, yes, the one thing I remember from that horrible episode was the Tiki song. And I like how this episode actually played the song from Enchanted Tiki Dreams in the beginning. Overall, you guys, Squid Plus One was not that great. I was hoping it would be at least good, but unfortunately it's just okay. So I'm going to give Squid Plus One a 6 out of 10. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what are your opinions on the episodes, the executive treatment, and Squid Plus One. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!